Okay, in this movie, we are going to set up our book jacket. So I just want one page. I want facing pages. I want the height to be 10 and a quarter inches. And remember, you can use inches or points, vice versa. My margins, um, I want these to be a standard quarter inch margin um, all the way around. If I want to use a bleed, I can put a bleed of an eighth of an inch, which is also nine points all the way around my document. We're going to worry about the width in a second. I want to at least make sure we got the height first to start. So, okay, here we go. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and click on my master pages. I can tell my master page is highlighted because it is highlighted right here. And if I look down here, here's my master page. Be sure when you're doing this not to put your um, elements on your master pages. You want to put them on your pages. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a couple different size master pages. We're going to shuffle those pages so that we can set up our document. So to start with, I'd already looked at my uh, template. So I already know the size that I need for my particular pages. And what we're going to do is we're going to set up the pages as panels. So let's start with the first uh, panel, which is the main page by setting it up as a master page. I'm on my master page, come over my tool palette, click on my page tool right here. And up here I'm gonna change the width. In InDesign you can have different size pages within one document. And I know from looking at my template that I need my page to be 8.375 inches. When I do that, it resized just slightly my um, my document page. So that's one page is done. Let's add another master page by coming down here on my pages panel and clicking create new page. Here's my B master. I know that uh, my spine I needed to be an inch and a half according to my project brief so I'm going to click on my page tool over here in the tool palette and I'm going to change my width to 1.5 inches. Make sure you put inch in there otherwise it'll convert it to picas. There's my spine and then I need one more panel so I'm going to click on my new page, add another master, make sure I'm collecting on my page tool and then my flaps can be anywhere from three and a half to four inches. I'm just going to choose four inches for my flap. Hit tab. There we go. Now I have my masters set up, A, my A, my B, and my C, and now I'm going to rearrange my pages down here in my pages panel. I'm going to click on page A and just grab my selection tool. So you can assign master pages by dragging them down over an existing page or by dragging the page down. But the first thing I have to do is I have to make sure that I deselect allow document pages to shuffle because I want these pages to be across from each other in a spread. When you have two pages, it's called a spread. When you have more than two pages next to each other, it's called an island spread, and that's what we're going to create. We're going to create an island spread. So looking, referring at my template, I know I have to have two A's, one B, which is my spine, and two C's. And simply what I'm going to do is I'm going to start dragging and dropping these master pages down next to each other here in my master, uh, in my, or sorry, in my pages palette. So let's grab my spine, which is my B master, and I'm going to put it right next to it and see that little hand kind of show up right there and release. Now they're kind of, I'm building my spread next to each other. So this is my spine. Now I'm going to grab another A master and drag it down right next to here to my B. Whoops. It's a little tricky. There we go. A little bit of finesse there. Okay, so here's my main part of my book. Here's my spine. And then I'm going to add my flaps on by simply dragging my C master down. Oh, did it again. Got to get it right on there. There we go. And then dragging my C master all the way over here on the other side. And there we go. So when I look at my layout here, it looks like my template. This is four inches. This is my back panel, my back page, my spine, my front cover, and my front flap. For all practical purposes, my book cover is now set up. If I want to use a bleed, I have to make sure that all elements go to this red bleed line. This right here, this margin is the safe area. You don't really want any images to get beyond this so that it's not close to the edge or the fold. If this was a book cover and it was folded around a book jacket, 
I would suggest that you go to Barnes and Noble and you look at some real book jackets or go to the library so you can kind of see. But this is the basic setup. So you need to have three different master pages, three different sizes. Refer to your templates for the size. Remember, InDesign will convert from pikas to inches or inches to pikas. You'll be using your page tool here. And then the key is making sure that this Allow document pages to shuffle is deselected. There is not a check mark next to it because if you do not deselect this, you will not be able to get your pages into a spread like this. So that is how you set up the pages for a book jacket layout.